All right, guys, we're here today for a little bit of a news update from the global side of Dokkan Battle. Now, I know I've been saying it as a, uh, you know, a, a very high probability guess, but it's been officially announced from the Facebook page. The Gogeta event looks like a new stage is coming to it. It's going to be awesome. Now, this should coincide with the Janemba event. It hasn't been announced yet, but it's probably going to be announced sometime soon. So that's awesome. So today we're going to be talking about it, and we're essentially going to go over that banner, the Janemba banner. I know I touched upon it in an earlier video last week, but we're going to go over all of them right now. I'm going to give you my opinion on the matter, and we're going to take a look at a couple other things. So without further ado, let's go into it. Uh, let's see. Shout out to the Reddit over here. Um, this was actually, I just jumped on to see if there's any information about it. We just had this one post over here. So Goji, the new stage was announced. It's from the Facebook itself. Uh, shout out to dbz.space because we're going to be going over a little bit of information from there. Shout out to dbzdokonstats.com because we're going to be using information from there. And shout out to the wiki because we will be doing a little bit of a card overview from there. All right, guys. So now that I did the, uh, the shout outs, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into it. First off. Um, <clears throat> the banners on the JP side came out about, what is this, um, I believe it's, uh, their, their dates are on the top, right? Yeah, the dates are on the top of the actual banners. So, they came out in April of 2017, or yeah, April of 2017, which is, man, that's so far behind, that's six months, uh, yeah, six months ago that these came out on the JP side. Um, so, or seven months actually, but I don't want to say that means we're so far behind them now i mean i already did a full video on how we're probably going to be caught up and what's already come out and everything these banners are definitely six seven months behind of what the jp meta is currently at but we should be caught up really soon because of the way that they've been doing things on global but with that being said we're not too worried about it um the gogeta banner had a whole bunch of nice cards on it we're going to talk about them and these all these pages didn't load for me um, <laughs> Alright, so the Gogeta banner had a whole bunch of cool cards on it. Uh, I already talked about the cards that I think are going to get replaced, but we're going to talk about what, what, what was already there. We had the Intelligence Vegeta. Uh, that card was on the banner. He's cool. He's the mono intelligence leader without any key buffs. He's HP attack and defense plus 100%, which is actually really util utilized, uh, not specifically for intelligence, uh, for certain events if you didn't have any leaders. Even though you wanted the key, you would prefer those buffs for certain events. So he is a really decent leader, especially if you can't pull Gogeta because he's going to give you that additional 30% buff as opposed to the 70% buff with the three key. Might become uh, pretty viable. Obviously, we have Gogeta. He is the star main attraction. Uh, one thing I want to say about Gogeta is he's going to be relevant for a very, very long time. How do I know this? Well, think of it like this. Uh, even though he's only part of one category, which we are going to touch upon that as well. Uh, he's part of the fusions category. He is a staple on an intelligence team. He is a staple on a heroes team. He is a staple on a fusions team. So on all three of those, he is a staple. Uh, the other thing is, you remember the Strength Gogeta that came out with, um, I guess we, we're calling that one the first round meta of leaders. Uh, technically, I, I still believe the Strike events were the first round meta, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, but the Gogeta was essentially part of the first Dokkan Fest exclusives. Uh, first round of those, or the first meta of the Dokkan Fest exclusives. And he's still relevant to this day. He's still, not technically run on most teams, but he's still relevant to his mono Strength team because he hits everyone for uh, like as if he has type advantage which makes him super relevant he does he can clear a million damage with max dupe system with crit now yes that's a lot to invest into him especially now in the game uh when this og is coming out you're probably not going to want to do that i did because i had him 100 percent a long time ago once we started getting orbs he was the first character i started working on it was phenomenal um but it's probably not something you're going to want to do now but that's just what I have to say about that. Uh, anyway, the Strength Gogeta is always going to be viable just because he's always going to attack as if he has a type advantage. Uh, next one is going to be the Vegito Blue, and he is a good character. If you don't have him, he's a really good character. You want him as a leader. This one should be the one who will be getting a Dokken Awakening to LR. We don't know yet. Um, that's been what we've been waiting for since, geez, July. I think they're probably gonna, they may do it for the holidays. I don't know. Uh, that would be my speculation because they, they talked about it such a long time ago. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. They've given us so many LRs on the JP side. It'll be nice to actually get something new uh, other than the repeated ones from the JP side on the global side. Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, this banner just released. Uh, as I said in my last video, I think he's going to be replaced for something like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but he was on the banner. He is a 120 lead. 
if they don't change anything up, you should see him again. He should be making another appearance, which would be cool. And it's actually funny because uh, these four, I want all four of them. <laughs> I don't have this Vegito. I don't have Gogeta, obviously. He's not out yet. I need one more Vegito Blue to finish off his dupe system to make him 100%. And I did never really pulled for him. I tried a couple multi-summons, but that I had every card on the banner. So I just pulled dupes of all the cards I already had. I actually had a full multi-summon of four Dokkan Fest exclusives that I already had. <laughs> uh, Beerus, uh, I mean, if you like Beerus, that's cool because he'll be on the banner. This is the tech one. I'm not a big fan of him myself, uh, but he'll be there. Super Saiyan 4 Goku was there. I already have mine 100 percent but if you guys don't have him, that's, he's an awesome card to have on there. And Trunks, who I don't have as well. So this banner to me is very appealing because I don't have any of the banner exclusives. Uh, except for this Beerus, which I think I already have maxed out. Now, the reason why I'm not really big onto this Beerus is just because, I mean, he's not hes not really a good card, in my opinion, you know? Um, his attack is 60% up when uh, HP is 30% or above. I believe he just does uh, supreme damage. And, well, you know what, let's go over here. We do this. I know I, if you guys have been following me, I've showed you how to do this before. Uh, just take away the JPN, and then it just brings the uh, English version of him up because it's the same actual card number. <laughs> uh, so, oh, he doesn't have... Wait, why doesn't he have a token? Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah. At the, the start of the turn, attack plus 60%. Rage only once when HP is 30% or below. So, I I'm sorry about that. And he does only supreme damage. He's not a good card at all. I mean, he'll be cool for the Godly Dimension team, but outside of that, not so much. Uh, but he'll be there. So, there's a lot of good units on this banner. I'm as stoked for... Essentially all of them except for two, and with my luck I'll pull both, like three of them on each, on every multi-summon that I get. I believe this banner also came with discounted multi-summons, so that would be awesome. No LRs in this, guys, so, um, you know, good luck. Each one had just under a 1% chance of pull rate, so if you're going for, I mean, 10% for an SSR isn't bad. That's typically what a banner is, especially even Dokkan Fest exclusives, but that's what's here. Um, the other one we're going to talk about now is the Janemba banner. Let me just close out of that so my browser doesn't crash out on me. Uh, Janemba actually had an exact 10% pull rate. <laughs> uh, Janemba had Goku Black. I'm not a big fan of the Goku Black card, but he's really more viable on global side, especially for key support. Uh, I don't like him. Uh, he's just uh, not good, not a good unit in my opinion. I mean, immense damage and attack plus 3,500 uh, per key orb obtained is cool and everything, but it's a flat out boost. I'm not a big fan of that. If they made it a percentage based boost, like. 18% like LR Gohan, but with immense damage, obviously he's not going to hit as hard. It probably would be a little bit more viable, and I would think I would like him a little bit more, but it's not. Obviously, Janemba's on the banner. Uh, I know some of you guys think he's overrated. I don't at all. I think Janemba's probably one of the best characters in the game, especially the strength one, just because he has the attack buff, immense damage, and he guards against everything, uh, and he has a built-in dodge. So I think this Janemba is awesome. I think he is a phenomenal unit. I actually think I like him more than I like Gogeta. And I'm going to be very honest about, with that. I really do. I think he has a lot more versatility than Gogeta does. The only thing that stinks is he does not fall in any category at this time. Uh, there, uh, there's a hope that he becomes part of like a movie boss villain type of category. And all the cool uh, boss villains for movies will be part of that. Um, and I don't know what else they could probably do uh, other than maybe that. Uh, I, I don't know. But he is obviously the 120 leader for extreme strength. So he's going to be a staple on that team. If that ever gets replaced, he's probably going to be a staple on that. Uh, the category lead, I believe it's the uh, Gohan, the strength Gohan, ultimate Gohan. I believe he does the attack plus 50% for strength types. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But if he is, Janembu is going to be good to have on that team. If you don't have other characters run with that. Uh, because he'll be defending and he'll get a small attack buff. Uh, but we're going to go over the card review in a little bit. He's, a, I, I, again, I really think he's a good unit. I like this extreme banner a lot, so I'll be pulling on both of them. Um, I don't have Mass Saiyan Bardock. He's an awesome leader for everyone, for all different types. He plus 3 attack, HP attack, and defense plus 50% for everyone. That's really, really viable. Kind of stinks because that means he overrides the um, Vegito Blue and uh, the, what is it, not the Merge of Masu, the Rosé. But at the same time, uh, Rosé and the Vegito Blue are better cards in my opinion. But uh, we'll see what happens. You know, he is a cool unit to have. I would like to have him, and he is a great rainbow leader. Uh, we have Cell. I'm not a big fan of Cell. He is a good card. He does do some decent damage. He's going to be a staple on Janemba's team. Uh, I haven't Doken mine yet. That's just because I want dupes of him to feed into the dupe system. Uh, because even though I'm not going to utilize him, uh, why am I going to waste it? Because he is still a good unit, and he still hits hard. Uh, and he has an AoE at 11 keys, so that's awesome as well. 
Merge is I'm really getting sick of seeing this card. I have so many of him. I don't want him. I hope he gets replaced. <laughs> um, there is talks of a card being replaced on his banner as well, which I think that will happen because... Um, we, if they're going to put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on the Intelligence Gogeta banner, they're going to want to put Omega Shenron somewhere. They're probably going to replace Mass Saiyan Bardock, I don't know. I would hope that they replace Merge and Masu because I'm sick of seeing him <laughs> and pulling him. Uh, but that's just something that could possibly happen. But he is a really good unit, he is the Extreme Leader. Uh, he's awesome if you don't have him, you're going to want him. Especially on a, like an Extreme Technique team, he's going to be awesome. On a Mono <laughs> Technique team, he's going to be awesome. And he's a staple on a Mono Villains team, so... There's that. Um, then we have Sin Shenron, which is going to be cool. Uh, Sin Shenron is Omega Shenron's the best linking buddy. If you don't have him, you're probably going to want to get him. Korra, oh man, I want another one of him. I want a dupe of Korra. I really hope I can pull him. And we have Baby Janemba. Not Baby Janemba. We have Fat Janemba. And I'll be going over him a little bit as well. It's just an SR variant of Janemba. And he Dogen Awakens into an Agility Janemba, which makes Janemba semi-farmable. Personally, I'll just be using other cards because I have way too many in my box. And I just want to utilize them. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole, that's the whole banner. 0.7% pull rate on all of them, just like the Gogeta banner. Really good cards. Now, with that being said, well, we're going to talk about this actually. You know, let's just talk about it now. So, Gogeta is a very hyped unit. Janemba, I think, is a very hyped unit as well. More people are obviously hyped for Gogeta just because he's the damage output. Uh, some of us are hyped for Janemba just because of his versatility. Now, let's just talk about the future metas. Now, I know a lot of us are like, you know, th th there's a split in the community. Some of us like to plan for the future, and some of us like to act in the here and now. Because if you keep on planning for the future, the future is going to constantly change because the global side is always going to be behind JP. But with that being said, let's talk about the most viability. I'm thinking about making an, a separate video about this. Gogeta and Janemba. Janemba doesn't have any categories. Gogeta only has the fusion category. Let's go over here really quick to just talk about... Uh, Gogeta's category. Gogeta's only part of the fusion category, right? He doesn't have anything else. He's not going to be anything else. So the only... The, he has three teams that he's the most viable on. That's Hero's team, Mono Intelligence, and a Fusion's team. And by Mono Intelligence, I mean obviously he's going to be the leader for the Hero Intelligence. And if you pull him, you're going to probably want him on an LR Gohan team if you're doing a double LR Gohan lead. Um, or a Buhan lead if you don't have any... Well, obviously if you have Buhan, you're probably going to want to run Gogeta. Unless you're like a new player, you only have Gogeta, you don't have any good hero units and you're trying to make a mixed team but anyway anything mono intelligence he's going to be good on uh any hero team and essentially any team that is rainbow lead like a Masse and bardock team uh outside of that those three major like groups fusion and mono team and heroes team he doesn't have as much viability especially in the categories future categories well let's take a look over here we have super saiyan 3 gotenks which is around the corner now, he is obviously the same thing as Gogeta. He is relevant on a Heroes team. He's re relevant on any mono-physical team. He is relevant on any generic team. But his categories include Fusion, like Gogeta, Hybrid Saiyan, Majin Buu Saga, and Future Super Saiyan 3. Um, now, that's just obviously it's going to be, a ge I guess, because one of those Super Saiyan 3 Bardock comes out. He's a Super Saiyan 3 leader. He is a Super Saiyan... Uh, this Gotenk is a Super Saiyan 3. It's a pretty safe to say that this one's going to be on it. So this guy is part of four categories, and four of the most major category groups. Hybrid Saiyan with the ultimate Gohan, personally, I mean, that's what I'm going for. Um, he's part of the Fusions category, which is something for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta lead, but it's still very viable. Majin Buu Saga is not going to be uh, as much in play, but he's there, and the Super Saiyan 3 team. So... For planning for the future, this card looks like he's going to have a lot more uses than the Gogeta, and he hits very hard as well. But I just want to state that I'm probably going to do a full video on that, uh, essentially everything I just said, and then give some opinions on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's just something to take into consideration. Um, we also have the Super Saiyan 3 Broly coming up. Uh, both of these banners uh, are cool. They don't have the Super Gogeta. That's another thing I want to talk about was the Super Gogeta when the next time him and Janemba are going to appear. Uh, I did look through uh, some of these banners. It looks like the Super Gogeta didn't come back uh, and the Janemba did not come back until way later. Uh, the first one, the first notable one is, the, I think, not this one. Um, was the Gogeta and Janemba, I mean the Gogeta and Omega banners, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner, had the Gogeta on it, did not, the Omega didn't have Janemba though, uh, let's open it up real quick, so this already came on Global Side, we might have a revisiting of them, but I feel like they just might appear in the Gogeta and Janemba banner, you know, kind of like a reverse of what they did here, uh, to make them pop up, so I don't think they're going to pop up again in the, well obviously in a, a banner that revisits these, 
Uh, so, yeah, Gogeta was not in, or Gogeta was in here. The Strength one and the Intelligence one both were. And on the Omega banner, we did not have Janemba. So that stunk. Uh, again, we kept on going, we kept on going. D Dokken Fest exclusive, the first one, which is probably going to be January, uh, had Janemba in it, right? So the Janemba, this was the Gohan on the JP side had Janemba in it, and that was a long time afterwards. Now that was what, this is September, that Janemba made his appearance, since April. So that's five months ahead and Janemba didn't come. I don't think that Janemba is going to be part of the Ultimate Gohan banner. They might not change it because he's not as hyped of a character, so they might keep him in there. But that's something to take into consideration, that it took him five months to come back. Outside of that, Gogeta did not come back until recently. Well, obviously the Thousand Day server celebration, which is going to be coming up on the global side soon. Um, but Gogeta didn't come back um, until... Yeah, I think that was the banner he, the only banner he came back in. Um, other than the, other than the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So Gogeta really hasn't been back other than the, the, the one special for Thousand Day. You couldn't put stones into that banner. So to, to take that into consideration also when you're pulling on these, these guys do, are not as common because they're such hyped units and they're so overpowered. Uh, they're probably not going to be back for a very long time. So you're probably going to want to go ham on this. Plus, the deals are usually pretty good. They usually have like a uh, a rotating banner, like a, almost like a, a... It's usually buy three, get one free in terms of multi-summons. Do three multi-summons, get the fourth free. And they usually start out with three discounted summons. So you usually get like four multi-summons for a chance to get one character uh, from these. There's no GSSRs, unfortunately, but that's usually what they do. But that's what I want to say about those two. It's going to be a while before they actually come back available to us. You might want to consider going for them. But again, I, th that, that's just the mixture of what I was saying before about people who plan for the future and people who plan for now. Uh, these guys might not be available again in the future, but then again, in terms of their viability and for categories that are coming up, if category is going to be the way you want to go, these guys are going to lose their viability unless you're just like, no, I'm going to run a mono intelligence team or a mono strength team, um, or I'm just going to run a fusions team for Gogeta. It really depends on what your plan of action is going to be. But as you see with the categories, categories are phasing out the mono leads. Mono leads can come back, and that's why they did the Super Battle Road. Um, not really why they did it, but that, that's when they're going to be viable again. Uh, but outside of that, that's what I have to say about it. But anyway, that's that. I already went over the banners. Uh, these guys have some pretty good banners too. The Super Saiyan 4, uh, 3 Gotenks and Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Uh, I'm not going to go over those, but they're, they're going to be good cards. Uh, I'm going to save a full card review because I didn't realize how long I was going to ramble on about the event and the banners. Uh, so this is just going to be a banner and a <laughs> uh, a banner and a uh, card review. Well, not really a card review, just a banner and opinion review about what's going on. Uh, one thing I did also want to state about this Rising Dragon. Uh, so the Rising Dragon banner is out, and this is what I was talking to you guys about the other day. You might want to wait to find out if Gogeta and Janemba are coming out uh, and possibly use the stones. Now, here's the thing. Um, see, <laughs> the banner ends on Thursday, right? And the pop-up notification on Facebook came out today, or last night, technically, eight hours ago. And they said it's for next week. Now, if that's true, there are only two days that Dokken Fest usually come out. Either on, like, the beginning of the week, on, like, Tuesdays, um, Tuesday mornings, or Monday nights, that is, or Thursdays, Thursday nights, Friday mornings. So, if that being said, if this, is pro if this goes to a Thursday, the rising... Dragon Carnival banner is going to end when Super Saiyan Gogeta and Janemba come out. And again, that means you cannot use discount stones because the discount stones are probably going to go live with their banner. Um, I'm going to wait till later on in the week. If they don't come out, I'll, I'll, I might pick up a $16 pack just so I can do all five summons and I'll probably give you guys a video about that uh, just because that's a really good deal and I would like to get maybe possibly get an LR. Who knows? Um, but that's my opinion on the matter. Uh, I don't recommend you guys to do that. I don't mind throwing $16 to get a um, five multi summons in on, in on a banner, especially on cards that I'll, I would like to get some dupes of. But um, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, I'll be doing a full card review when we do when we get the actual banner or some point later on this week. So I'll probably do that after this recording of Gogeta Janemba and the Janemba, that, the SR Janemba. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you guys going to be pulling for Gogeta and or Janemba? Do you think that waiting for physical Gotenks, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, is more viable? Um, I'm probably going to do a separate video on that as well. And are you guys going to be pulling on the Rising Dragon Carnival banner at all, if you already haven't done so? But anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you all later.